Okay, welcome to our April edition of uh, our Equator Webinar Conversation, Design Conversation. So uh, today we have none other than Michael Chua himself, a well-known comic artist and toy designer. So good evening, Michael. So uh, thank evening, you for everyone. doing this on an April Fool. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why you choose this date. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, please introduce yourself. So I'll pass, I'll pass the time to Michael. So Michael will be presenting to you all uh, his his journey as a comic artist uh, from from uh, an artist to a toy artist as well. So yeah, so I'll pass the time to you, Michael. Okay, okay. Good evening, everyone. Uh, this is not April Fool, so I'll be giving a sharing tonight about uh, how how I has been in this uh, industry for 20 years in comic industry and also uh, these recent years I have been uh, involved myself in uh, toy design as well. So uh, my name is Michael Chua and uh, if you are, if I'm, I'm in everywhere, la. I'm in, in, in Facebook, I'm in Instagram and in Twitter and also myself, I have my own YouTube channel. La. So subscribe and like, share when you see it. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, do a little bit of uh, intro of myself. Uh. So uh, <clears throat> I also I also have another uh, name called C two V. If you are collect my if you are collecting my my previous comics, uh, Genki. So I've been using this uh, name called C two V, and I've been st I started off with this uh, comics is called Genki. Uh, the, the very first comics that I did and most uh, people start to know about me and in 2005 i actually uh, compiled i have four comic book five uh, five comic book and i also uh, compile all the the character that appear in the the genki and, uh, there's hundred of them so i compile them into a character book the 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 very uh when i start Planning this uh, Genki comics is because I I was uh, inspired by a uh, Hong Kong toy designer Michael Lau that he created um hundred gardener gardener character so I I, I always wanted to say I always wanted to have a uh, hundred characters of Genki that is one of the 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 things that pushed me create create comics. So and and I have so much freedom that uh, every episode of Genki I get to like introduce a new character into it. So if you're you're browsing through the previous uh, comic book Genki, you can see that uh, there's a lot of new character and some of them I can't remember how they look like. Okay, so my goal is always uh, create new uh, a, a new characters, new characters. Uh, character design is also one of the things that I enjoy the most, uh, even if I, I create other comics, is like uh, Office Survival, uh, Lava OKKO, okay, Horoscope Fever, In and Out, Three Hours to Master, and Monster Chaos, and so on, so on, so on. It's, it's a bunch of characters. I I think I already been, if I calculate back, I think I at least created 600, 600 or it should be more, should be more maybe 800 above character character yeah so uh in recent years uh 2016 starting 2016 i start to uh, involve myself in uh designing toys so um i'll, I'll introduce that part uh, later on okay okay so um yep remember to check out my facebook instagram twitter and youtube okay when when two oh oh one sorry Michael, Michael, sorry, Michael. Yeah. are you sharing your slide now yes yes um I cannot see your slide ah, okay. oh, oh yeah 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 okay okay you can see it cannot 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 still cannot yeah yeah hmm? okay I think you have to I'll just share again. And uh, I share again. Uh, can you will? Can you see? 
I guess. Okay, nah. Yeah. Okay. You can see the gamepad right, cover. I think, I think as soon as you play the slide, uh, you can can see the slide. Okay. What if I, I just think. do it this way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll just do it this way. Yeah. Okay. So, um, in two o one, after I graduate from uh, art college, I actually only attend two years in graphic design. Then later on, I start working in a design house. So I didn't really, I have a, I have a diploma lah. I didn't have degree, but um, but uh, because my father uh, also a uh, art director, so uh, he's been um, he's been teaching me a lot lah. And uh, himself also a comic uh, collector as well. So he we. I, I grew up reading comics, uh. so reading comics in 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 my house is 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 okay, uh. So so <laughs> I have a lot of comics uh, when I was a kid. So uh, I I never thought of uh one gonna be uh become uh, gonna become a comic book artist when I grew up. I always want to be a um, graphic designer. I always want to create the best layout and then the best cover, the best logo logo design things like that. And um, and uh, I actually uh, been in, inspired by a lot of uh, different designer as well, like um, like the Reagan, uh, Reagan uh, David Carson, David Carson, yeah. So I always uh, like his layout. So um, but in two o o one, uh, after I resigned from uh, design house. I actually apply a job, uh, comic assistant in this uh, one of the biggest uh, publication, comic comic publication in Malaysia, which is called Gempa. So uh, in the early days, uh, their styles are a bit uh, uh, more more towards uh, uh, oh, a bit like old school character, a, a bit like a uh, like Ujang or Apo kind of uh, gila gila kind of style. So in the in the very first comics I did is. Uh, Sam supermarket. So during that time, I don't have a, a certain style for it. So I, 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 the, the editor from Kumpa, uh, uh, suggests me that I follow this, uh, this style. So I'll, I'll just try go on and throughout the progress, I actually start to, to think what kind of style or what kind of stories that I love to, I want to do. I also try love stories. So I, I bet a lot of you didn't know that they actually did ghost story. I uh, love story before, and I also did ghost story, but uh, uh, I didn't show here. So then later on, oh yeah, when I draw ghost story, um, the editor thinks it's funny. So I think I I'm actually meant to uh do humor comics. So then I uh, actually try, try this. Uh, this is another comics. Uh, it's about three, three person. It's actually a, a comics before Genki. That is also three, three guys been messing around in the school, things like that, doing, doing stupid stuff. Things like that. So this is the one of the unpublished work. And it's not published in Kampa. It's, it's, it's being rejected because uh, the, the, the style and then the, the panel is not, it's not well done. So after I, I worked in Gempa for half a year, uh, being a comic assistant for um, um, Apo and uh, Kenny Chua. So I, uh, apart from there, I got the chance to actually start doing my own comics. It's called Genki. Genki, is, the name is actually taken from um, a word from Japan, Genki, which means uh, uh, semangat, semangat. Uh, good, good spirit. So, so gang, gang. It means like a, a group of people, a group of kids. So it would be like it pronounced as a gang key. So it's sound. It, it, I, I didn't use the Japanese word gang key, but I, I changed the key uh, at the back. So uh, because it actually suit the the sound, and also the main character is called low key. Yeah, it's a red 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 character. Uh, originally the characters are uh, been color in um in skin color but i i didn't want it to be just too common so i changed it to red and i'll decide to change all the characters into very colorful characters so you can see that 
you have a blue color Paul, and then you have a green color Amin. Then the main main character Loki is in red because the main character is always has to be red, like a uh, character in Super Sentai. Okay, so and then the the more the, other than I get to write a uh, whatever story that I like, I also get to get the chance to design my own book cover. That's the 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 best part for for drawing comics so i get to publish um this genki comics in 2002 and also the, the mandarin version and later on my style been changing changing a bit compared to the the old one the old one is like very round head and then uh later on it become taller and the overall design is is very very heavily influenced by uh hip hop hip hop culture and also graffiti i i love that uh element even though i don't do break dance i i i um i don't do graffiti but i i love the trend so i will input that a lot in the in these comics and as i men mentioned previously i actually compile uh, 100 characters uh into a character book so uh, this is the hundred characters uh, put it up in in a very big uh, in a very big layout. So this there's hundred of it, and um, yeah, this uh, character book took me around three months to complete, just to uh, release on time. So I'm like full force because I I really like to I really want to compile all my character into into a book. Then later on, I'm, I'm lucky enough to publish, to release the very first uh, consider adaptations from comics and become a, a, a toy, which um, a lot of people still asking me where 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 can I find this and and sorry I don't have extra, so and and, and the price has been selling very high in the carousel or some some other place. So if you have it, so keep it well. So uh, at the time, uh, it, there's two two editions. One is the original color. The other one is the black and white color. So that's 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 how I started doing. Start to involve myself in comics and and toy design. Okay. So later on, I'm gonna share with you guys uh, uh, what other than apply your character in on in comics, you can what what. What's other stuff that you can do? So this is uh, one of the one of my favorite comics, but I didn't manage to continue the whole story. It's like it ended at book five. Then I I got assigned to uh, draw another series, which is from the adventure. So this um, this is some of the uh, this uh, character design that is not being used. Is 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 only for the uh, proposal proposal stage. So you can see that uh, at the time the publications want me to do something a little bit like Pokemon. So there's a a, a, gr a group of uh, a, a mixture of uh, Digimon and Pokemon, I think. So it's, it's towards a uh, kids story. So this is some of the character that are designed, and 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 the villain is a pink panda. And the main character, the main character has a group of friends, um, a cat and a rabbit that can actually transform to other stuff. And a little bit mixture of power in joining. So there's always five of them. Okay, so you can see there's a red, yellow, blue character and green and one purple, always the smart one. So later on, after I proposed this idea that the thing is not suitable, so we changed uh, the whole concept again. We changed to some other stuff like um, the main character actually uh, got to communicate with uh, yokai monster. So this is one of the, the, the character that I designed, but it's been rejected. And later on, they want to put in some element from journey to the west so i get to i have to design a characters which look like a monkey but it's not like a monkey and there, there, there it's been a very long um 
uh, it took me more than a year, more than half a year just to get the character approved. So this is some of the behind the scene that uh, the character has been reject, rejected, not to use. So I've been changing lots of different hairstyle to let the comic editor to go through, see whether which one's suitable. Mm, this is some of the, the rejected one. Then end up, we decide to have this uh, outlook, which are very sharp hair in front, very pointy hair. And then the is actually a, a monkey, but it doesn't look like a monkey. And the fun of drawing these comics is that I get to uh, design a lot of different yokai. Um, but too bad, most of them never actually get the chance to appear in the book. So this is the book, uh, Core Monster Chaos. I think it only has the Mandarin version. And currently, there's, I don't think you can find the market. So there's five books of it. So uh, every each book uh, comes with two uh, trading cards. So after you scan it, you get to see the character in VR, AR, sorry, AR. So this is the, the character, uh, this is the comics cover. Uh, zero 05 is the last book. Uh, yeah, yeah, the last book, too bad. Okay, so after on after that, uh, I, I, also, I keep uh, explore my um, art in, into character design. So this is one of the, the things that I did is I actually team up with uh, one of the popular DJ in Malaysia. Uh, it's called Jack. So he's a DJ. He wanted to brand his, uh, his own TV series and his own um, uh, image. So, so this is this, what I'm going to show here is uh, how a character can be applied to, to a brand. So the, the character that he, the, the DJ created is called Abing. So originally, originally is uh, security. So uh, uh, at the time, the first idea that came into my mind is, uh, is a baby security uh, boy. Okay, and then team out. And then his uh, enemy is the one of, uh, enemy is a, is a thief. It's called Missiling. Then later on, this uh, idea been banned. So we move on to to uh, do a comic space on his TV series, which is called Abing. So this is the very original sketch based on his look. So this one was done in one night because next day I got to I have to propose to him. So I come up with uh, the rough idea of the character based on uh, the character appear in the TV series. Then later on. Uh, he he actually dressed up in the uh, another uniform, so uh, I'll make him into a very another new image, which is uh, more because the the previous one is is a bit too adult, which is not so friendly. So I make him into a a chibi style, and then it's a it's a small kid. Yeah, so this is the character, the character that appear in the. TV series, and I make make another stories uh, which they are, and they they met each of them in in a kampong. So after I create a group of uh, characters, I actually have three script uh, prepare for Jack to go through, so he know what's happened the first three chapter. So after I uh, we we have a meeting for this, uh, the idea got approved, so we carry on. We start to uh, design uh, the, the the logo. Okay, this is the very first uh, uh, layout. But later on, they have their own logo design. So my my idea didn't didn't get uh, to use. So yeah. Okay, this is the original square face, which we think uh, which is not really friendly. Then we change to rounded face. And this is the very first uh, comic book that we, uh, it's a comic magazine published uh, monthly. So uh, during this period, uh, this work has been like serial, serialized like around two years. 
the 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 painful part of this is that every month I have to rush deadline to to get the the work done, and the fun part is uh every of the com uh, comic magazine covers are uh, done by myself. I really love design cover, so you can you guys can go through the 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 um cover design because the the comics magazine is uh, is in a it printed in a very big uh size is it's around a four size so i get to fill in a lot of details into it so we each of the each each month we have a uh, own team it's like this the left will have a zoo we see it then the right we will have a uh, hip hop then the mother's day i try to change a bit different tone to, to more softer then this one is the balloon festival uh, hawaii uh, monopoly introduce monopoly then we have a uh, mooncake festival and we have halloween and we have dragon quest uh, we have christmas then we have uh, chinese new year valentine's day uh, dessert time and also a detective team and then we have the very first avengers movie coming up so I turn every character into the avengers uh, character then we have a uh, pirates team uh jurassic park and we have olympic and one of the second last issue second last issue we have second last issue we have fake up we have fake up cover and uh, combined with my character in, into it. So this is one of my favorite cover. Then later on, um, Jack decided to have this uh, steamboat restaurant. So I get to I have to design the the logo for it, and the also the steamboat uh, restaurant, the environment, and our Jack also have the uh, movie. So that uh, I have to design the movie logo as well. So the first year they have this uh, Fortune God. So I, I designed it and in four wheels because we, we plan to uh, come up with some toys. Then we have uh, this plushie, but it's too ugly. So we didn't, didn't release it. Then later on, we have this um, Fortune God in a very, a very small fortune goal, it's like a mini fix. So this is the packaging design as well. I have to do it. Then the crossover with the bang. So I have to do a tabung. Then also the crossover with the um, cinema as well. So I'm gonna make a, a soft drink cup with popcorn on it. Then they have road show. So I have to design the sticker which apply on the the vehicle that drive to every state and of course it's chinese new year so we're gonna have ang pao yeah okay and we have this uh very yeah very not so nice poster poster design as uh most of um, they, they want to squeeze every guest into the poster so uh, um so i'm trying to try my best to to design it right so because the, the, the poster is way too crowded and I don't really like it, so we, we decided to come up with a, a special editions uh, book cover, which is actually uh, based on the layout for the poster. So from here, you can see that uh, we've been like um, how to do, how to apply a character into comics and start to expand into um, other merchandise. Okay, then later on, uh, this is one of the consider one of the one of the big events that I participate, which uh, I have uh, my character appear in Hong Kong, Hong Kong uh, shopping mall. So I'm um, using this uh, one of my uh, character series is called the Never Ending Tales. So this is some of the sketch. Uh, the theme is uh, is the theme is Halloween. So I, I have to change all my character into 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 monster into like vampires uh, one mummies things like that. So this is some of the sketch that I did. 
and then they plan to build a, a plane. Okay, so this is the the foresight drawing for the character because they're gonna build a very big uh, fiberglass character to display during the event. So this is I have to uh, this is this is also a practice for me to to learn how to design characters in in four four views for the sculptor to do it. So this is some of the character, the main character, Teddy B, which uh, costume, uh, cosplay as uh, witch. And then Teddy B, oh no, sorry, this is Teddy B, cosplay as a witch. And then we I have uh, Ruff, which cosplay as a skull. Then this is some of the other character. This is another hedgehog, which you can see the straw is actually a skeleton. And these two characters as well. So although we have the layout, we want we build this uh, that they actually build this uh, 3D thing to see how's the how's the overall looks like. Okay. So this is how they start building the the very big fiberglass uh, figure. It's very big. So this is the the event. So you can see there's a very big uh, plane over there, then a um, the very big sculpted uh, character of mine. Uh, but after the event, they, they, because it's way too big, there's no way to store it. So wow, we have to destroy it. Yeah, too bad. And my house couldn't keep, keep it. It's way too big. Okay. Okay. And after that, uh, uh, other than uh, participate in this event, I also got a chance to design mascot for for uh, one of the game conference in Malaysia. Uh, they briefed me in the first year. The, 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 it's, it's, the event is called Level Up. It's actually a game conference uh, so people can attend and meet lots of uh, game developer, game designer, um, to see how they make games. So the brief they want, they, they want a, a character with um, joy, a game joypad. Joy pad. So I'm, I make a bit a cat with a joypad. Joy pad. So the first year is a very small event by MDAC, but later on they, they, they start to grow. So second year, they request, uh, at the time, uh, Minecraft is very popular, so they, they, they want uh, something pix some, something with pixel, with blocks. So, so I actually designed this character, which is which look like a joypad, but there's a character sitting on it. Okay, there's a short video that I'm gonna share with you. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna share with you guys. Okay, this uh, this short uh, animations is done by a local company called Dino How. Okay, then third year, third year they want something, uh, Dragon Quest plus a bit RPG, Dragon Quest RPG plus a bit, uh, they, at the time VR is very popular. So I have this character which is holding a. A pixel sword and then with a with a small dragon. So this is the the short video. 
Yeah, sorry. Okay, this is the the fourth year, I think. This for one, two, three, third year, third year, sorry, third year. Then on the fourth year, they one first person shooting. But uh this design after I did it, I, I found is uh we all found it's way too complicated to to execute and it's 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 a bit too complex, is because there's too much idea applying to it. It's like a um, first person shooting, and then there's some element like, um, uh, yeah, it's, it's way too complex. So I uh, propose them with a more simple alien with four arms, and then it has a weapon that can expand into other bigger weapons, things like that. So the event getting bigger and bigger in 2018. Yeah. So let's check out the video as well. Okay, so uh, all the animations are done by the same animation company, Dino How. So uh, you guys can go check out their Facebook as well. Yeah, but after I did like how many? One, one, two, three, four, four mascot. So um, uh, MDAC decided to change a design, another designer to do it. So yeah, so my. Uh, our collab uh, end, end at the, the fourth character. So, but uh, later on, I, I have another big event. Uh, I, uh, my two of my friends, uh, CK and Sim, they decide to have Malaysia first toy event. Not, not really the first. Uh. I think the first that someone did the first, but they want to make a toy, a big toy event in Malaysia. So they decide to uh, come up with this uh, TAGCC in 2019 and uh, they, 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 they ran the first event they have it in Min Valley yeah 
So I was, I was given by a, a brief that uh, this event will have toy, anime, and games. So the original idea I have is like create three characters, uh, Tammy, Alice, and Jeannie for the event. But somehow, uh, because it's the very first event, uh, a toy, biggest toy event. So I want them to actually focus only one character. So later on, we move on to a bunny girl. Mm. Then uh, some draft that I did for the, the poster. Then end of the day, uh, we decide to use this bunny girl. Uh, so as if you if you are familiar with my work, you can see you can know that uh, whenever I design a character, I like to use only three main colors as the color combinations. So this one is obviously is a pink, yellow, and blue. So it's very easy for people to memorize the the, the color. Is this is the, the the good use of this is like uh, whenever uh, we look at red, we will uh, think of a uh, hot link. Like we look at yellow, we know it's DG. Okay, we look at blue, we know it's Celcom. So this is this is the, the color identity thing. So uh, I have to do other category for the mascot. Then later on, second year, they look for me also again. And I actually uh, changed the character a more matured, a longer skill. The costume changed a bit. So, no, not so, not so chibi, but longer. So this is the 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 the, the event posters and other character game uh, card game, Kampla and. Um, VR at that time. They also make into um, figure as well, but it's not published, just a prototype. And this is the some of the event, event uh, short video for the event. Okay, the 3D is done by Moss Motion and uh, the wall, uh, the wall, what do you call that? Mapping is by Glenstone. Okay, let's come to the last part, which is the, after I did so, so, so many things from comics to event to mascot to brand and one of the most uh, uh, one of the latest venture of mine will be toy designer toy so this is the part that um uh, i start to uh bring my characters to overseas okay so the very first character not the very first i think the second after i designed genki so this is the second designer uh, toy design uh, designer toy that I did, uh, which is based on this office survival character, which there's a pow, a pow, a boss in a pow shape. And then I have the worker, which is in um, panda form. So uh, this, this character, this character, pan, uh, he, only when he sleep, he become human. So normally you don't see him sleep because he got to do overtime. And then, okay, as most of the boss, most of them, they are quite chubby. So I use pow as, a, as the element. So other than the original color that I did, I have some other color as well. So, uh, grow in the dark, I have gold, uh, gold color and the black on black. And I have this uh, very, very rare, I only have two pair of it, which is a uh, Ronald McDonald uh, form with a joker. 
and this is other customized color that I did. So I'm going to show you some of the work, uh, work in progress that I, I, that, that I start doing this character. So this is the, the, the four view character that I draw for the, for the, the toy manufacturer to do it, to do, make it into 3D. So after you have these uh, four views, it's much easier for them to uh, do this 3D, uh, 3D sculpting. Uh, I'm not very good in doing real sculpting, so I'm quite rely on 3D. So the, this is the very first uh, 3D file they sent me. So I have to like see which part is not right. You can see on the top, the hand is, is a bit too long. So uh, second round amendment, they change to a shorter, 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 hair, shorter hand, shorter hand. So, and then like a left, uh, left, top left uh, photos. You can see that the, the arm part is very flat. So I want it to, to be bolder a bit. Then the hand, hand uh, placement eyebrow, things like that. So you, you, you need to like, there's a lot of amendment to go through before before the, the, the manufacturer, before to manufacture it. So this is the pen, the origin from, from the very early 3D, you can see the mount is a bit too realistic. So, so after that, I change it to flat on his face. And the tricky part is the, the clothes, the clothes line that uh, to the, the code line because it's very hard to color on that part. Then change a little bit on the necktie. Yeah, so this is some of the work in progress. Then later on, uh, my third will be my third toys will be the never ending tales. Uh, this is to celebrate my 10th anniversary of this uh, of this uh, the never ending tales character, which is Teddy B and Ralph. Um, I have, uh, I actually did a series of uh, one page comics for it. As usual, the colors are a combination of three colors. So it's about uh, two of them flying to a uh, different planet to meet different characters. Yeah, the goal is all, the goal for drawing these comics also, I want to create as many characters as I, as I, as, as I can. So we have we have this uh, uh, hedgehog with the, the straw on his face, and then we have these three eyes, three eyes rabbit. Okay, this is some um, variant color versions, uh, customized by myself. This is the hand drawn uh, four view. This is the, when, when you design a character, the hardest part is that uh, it's not just drawing the front part. The hardest part is that you have to draw four views. You have to imagine it. But of course, nowadays, uh, that's 3D. It's become so much easier. Then later on, uh, after I released uh, Office Survivor and the Never Ending Tales, I wanted to really focus only on one character and myself, I love yokai. I I so that's why I, I choose these uh, uh, characters. Uh, a, a yurei, a, a ghost spirit, uh, yurei nekosama, which is a, a ghost that um, turn in a, a cat that turn into a ghost, and and he has a a companion, a frog companion. Okay, you can check out my work. Most of my characters are in pair. So, okay, so, so this, uh, these ideas are original. I did a very, a very sketchy drawing on a rough paper. I, I don't really have a sketchbook because uh, I, I, I will, I will, my, my habit is to grab whatever paper uh, to draw on. So I don't really have a, a sketchbook that compound all my sketching. So I'm like grabbing any paper that I have, I draw on it, then I'll just put aside. So this is how I start drawing uh, the, this Yurei Nekosama. Then I think it's, it's workable, it's nice. And also, and myself, I love cats. So yeah, then I start uh, create this character. And 
this is also the first time I put in this uh, ball joint onto this character. I, I didn't want it to just turn left, right. I want it to, to turn the head around. So I put in this ball joint and the, 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 the manufacturer uh, managed to, to help me to do it. And this is a 3D, 3D file that I got it got at the time. So it took me a, uh, it took me a few amendments on the face, especially because uh, as as simple as as uh, the character, the most simple, the hardest to do it. So uh, I, there's there's a lot of fine tune on the on the face itself. And uh, the original idea I have this Yuen and Kosama is to have a uh, like a platform toys is is like a fabric. You can apply any pattern on it. So I want it to be as simple as possible. So yeah. So apart from other than that, I start to put in different design onto it. So this is one of the best selling series, which is based on Daruma. So I came up with three different color: red, black, and white, and so out. And I also try to. Uh, put in different material like the uh, cloth uh, headgear onto it. The, 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 the goal is to make it cute. So, okay, the left part, I actually collaborate with a local toy designer, uh, Aquan from Mercedes. So we want to make a racing character on it. So we explore different type of uh, shape. And the right side will be, the colors are based on PlayStation. Uh, PlayStation One and PlayStation Two, yes. Okay, then um, I myself also uh invite some toy designer to to customize on it. The top one is by uh Womit Thunder, local toy designer, and then I have uh Mr. Kum Kum from Indonesia. Then also uh we did a very big we skew up la. It's like a one hundred percent to four hundred. It's like fabric. So I skew up for 400 side, 400 uh, is like 16 inches. So this figure has been uh, bought by Thai, Thailand collector. Okay, then one of the, one of the project that I did last year is like uh, during MCO. B before MCO, actually, I, I wanted to learn to draw watercolor. So, but I didn't really know what to draw. So uh, at the time, I decided to have um, to draw characters which I uh, enjoy the most. So uh, I choose all the famous people, all the celebrities uh, that I like. So I draw them into into the into a small piece of like a A5 paper. Um, and after I did like maybe ten piece, then um, Taiwan Gallery um, contact me. To ask me whether what I wanted to make it in a in a series so I can exhibit in Taiwan, so I say yes, definitely. So uh, since uh, MCO, I start I start to draw the, all these character as I'm very obsessed with hundred the number hundred, like what Michael Lau did. So I decide to draw hundred characters. I thought it's easy to draw hundred characters. But it's it's harder than what I can. It's harder than I can imagine, because uh, before you draw the characters, you really have to understand what did he did or how his his most signature outlook. Or uh, I have to like really study the character. So it took me a while to actually go through the character that I I I, I draw, and I'm lucky enough to draw to to really complete um 100 characters and showcase in taiwan and in last year 2020 october i got to compile all of them into these uh compilations uh peoples and i get to design book cover as well so the whole books are designed by myself um so self-published is workable so now, if you want to do self-publish in the future, maybe we can talk about it in the in the next next sharing section. So this one, um, I took a month to like really scan the artwork, touch up it, and then compile the whole thing, send to print. So this is some of the content you can see that um, I I have Wu Bai from a Taiwan 
singer, Taiwan rocker, and then I have Michael Jackson, I have uh, Steven Chow, I have uh, Ronaldo, I have uh, Kobe Bryant, I have Bruce Lee, uh, Murakami, and Josh Lucas, things like that. So after I showcase these 100 characters in Taiwan, uh, the feedback is very good. The feedback because uh, doing characters that people are familiar is is one uh, is easy to to connect to the audience. So one one of my favorite drawings, which is uh, uh, the rocker from Beyond, uh, Wong Ka Kui. So um, my friends actually decide to uh, ask ask me whether I want to make this uh, character into a toy. So I say yes. So we start to collaborate with that. And this is the 3D that we did. It's, it's, it's very fast that they actually execute it. So it's, it's, it's almost very close to the one that I did, the drawing. So then we print it out. Uh, hopefully, we manage to start to manufacture this um, and release maybe in July, hopefully this year. Hopefully. Yeah, and then he also, and me and my friend also very, uh, we, we love uh, Kojima a lot. And yeah, I haven't finished the game, uh, Death Stranding, but uh, yeah, I love the game. So we decide to make his character. Okay, so as you can see that the, 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 previous, version, the previous version is in square specs, and then the latest version we amend to the round glasses that uh, Kojima is wearing. So this is some of the prototype. prototype. Hopefully soon we get to uh, pre-order on this item. And just happened uh, early, no, nah, just happened yesterday. This Lawa Genki, after almost 20 years, after almost 20 years, I managed to uh, draw this character again. Uh, and it's in uh, comic strip format. So uh, Kamba Star actually launched the book yesterday uh, in their online store. So whoever, this, this is a new content. It's not, it's not reboot from the previous one. It's a, it's a brand new content. So whoever is interested in this character, um, hopefully you can get these uh, comics and I hope I get to speed up my drawing and publish continuously because this is just book one. And yeah, everyone's been asking about this uh, Genki character. It's also my it's also my dream to actually release it, hopefully in the future. So this is some of the sketches that I did. I, I always wanted to be in a in a smaller scale because I did I didn't want to to just release only the main character, the low key. So I wanted to be three of them. So this is the some of the concept that I did. Hopefully in the future I get to, uh, I, I managed to get the license and I managed to, to get the fund to release this in a minuscule form and all the fans managed to, co to collect three of them together. So yeah, hopefully, 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 hopefully in the future, maybe I can start a Kickstarter in the future, maybe, not too sure yet. So yeah, so that's all for my sharing. So hopefully everyone, uh, you can check out my, my work in uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube as well. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you so much, Michael. <coughs> yeah. Okay, so we have a first question from Ayer. So he asked, uh, throughout your journey of creating characters, what is your advice on producing your own toy, as in the design, production costs, and uh, ease to carry or so on? Okay, is you have to you have to save some money because making <laughs> toys is 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 quite pricey. If you if you are if you manage to do three D, you you can print you can do 3D print out, then you can cast you can cast or you can ask someone else to help. And then you start to hand paint yourself. Uh, that's one of the way. And I can see most of the that's how uh, 
where all the beginners started. And because I'm not very good in sculpting and I don't have patience for it, so I actually jump. I skip the step. I jump into 3D, and uh, I I spend some money there, lah. It, quite quite a lot, lah. <laughs> spend some money there, uh, manufacture it. It took me at least half a year to really manufacture the uh, and really amend the work. Then uh, send to China, produce, send back to Malaysia. But the challenge is not making the toys. For 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 myself, I think the challenge is to sell them. <laughs> to introduce them to to the to the market, so that part, uh, Kenny Wong, the creator for Molly, actually uh told me if you want to survive in toy industry, you have to stay there at least three years. You have to spend. You have to go to every event, attend all the toy event as many as possible. One thing is to you have to, you have to be person. Per, you personally, you have to be there. To 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 introduce about your uh, your your toys. Secondly, you get to, you have to like really make friends with all the all the toy designer and maybe with the with the brand as well with some of the toy manufacturer. So that's where I actually get to meet uh one of the Taiwan Kashabon company, uh Lu Yao Lu Yao Design. So they they help me to produce this uh Yuri Nekosama Kashabon. And also, when I went to China, I met some of the uh, toy design company, um, uh, toy design company EC Toys. So they they actually, we collaborate, then we 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 produce some exclusive uh, design for China as well. So uh, there's a lot of money actually I invest on that, uh, which I don't really make profit from there. Yeah. We we are less. Uh, Chun Wei also Chun Wei also a toy designer, so he yeah. know how pain <laughs> how painful <laughs> is that. <laughs> yeah. So so when you are in toy when you are in toy event, it's like you pull up the toys. Uh, it it won't sell itself. You have to go promote it, and because most of the collectors they went into the toy conventions, they already know what they want to get. So for for the first first year, you you attend toy convention, you might not sell anything. Because the collector also very new, uh, your work is new to them, so they they might look around, they might think it's nice, but they might not buy in the first when they, when they first look at it. But after you stay, after you attend second year or third year, they know that you are really serious serious on this. They will start consider, ah, uh, I should actually start to buy and support one. So that's where I start. Uh, in second year, I in Bangkok. I I got I got the one of the best sales in Bangkok. Yeah, I love Bangkok. <laughs> yeah, so so I got to make 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 a lot of friends from there. Mm. Okay, so second uh, question: How to maintain the energy and spirit to draw one hundred characters? It's really hard to maintain that determination. Yeah, every morning I woke up, I didn't want to draw. I didn't want to sit on my working desk, never. But next minute, well, we all have to survive, and uh, and yeah, the the reason that I've been doing this for past twenty years is because I really like it. I I I love it so much that it is not really a work for me anymore. It's it's also. Is 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 my hobby? Is my work? Is also where uh, uh, where I earn my money from, and is also is is really part of my life. So if you ask me not to do anything, uh, I I will die. So uh, my to maintain it, yeah, is this depends? Is this depends how much love you want to put on it? Yes. Okay, so we have another one. As an aspiring artist, uh, do you think it's better to post comic on the web or work freelance comic work for local publishers? So, uh, mm. so I'm I'm on the crossroad, wondering where should I go for? Okay, it depends on. Okay, if you if you need money, and you need to survive, I would suggest you go freelance. And save up the save up the bullet, 
and until one day you manage to do your own publish because uh, uh, release a work and selling it is two different things. Okay, we can we can draw a very good illustration or comics, but we have also have to learn to how to sell it. So selling is another challenge. So that's where uh, I start to do a lot of sharing uh, YouTube just to trying to promote it and participate events that's to, 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 to do it. So if you if you you're financially you're okay, then I believe you can try web comics. I tried that before. Uh, it's very challenging because uh, it's very different from publish a book. Um, publish web comics is like once you post it, good or bad, you will see the response immediately. Okay. And then if you have you have, you need to have a very strong heart lah, because the some of the comments are very mean. So you have to take it uh you have to take it like a, a bad comment is better than nothing. So <laughs> so uh, I try to I try tapas and I try a webtoon. Uh my fans uh, didn't grow very fast. Uh, there's one senior mentioned that if in three months your work didn't grow uh didn't go positively you have to cut it and do a new one so that's the challenge in web comics and of course web comics and traditional comics also take up a lot of time so you have to plan your financial first make sure you survive don't play too much games make sure you survive and don't spend too much money on toys don't, don't do this <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't do this so yeah so uh make sure you survive then when you have a certain amount then you can start plan whether you want to do it self-publish self-publish you have to like consider okay you get a uh, you have to do the layout yourself or maybe you assign someone else uh then uh you have to proofread after publish you have to look for a printer to print it after you print it you have to maybe open a shopee store well you can sell on your own okay mm -hmm. So you don't have to go through the publication, a uh, publisher. Publisher, the, the reason you give to publisher is because they have all the channel. So they can you can only you can focus on your drawing. You don't have to worry about the sales. But if you are able to uh, manage both sides, then self-publish. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I think another question is I wonder if releasing toys which involve other individuals, does it involve any copyright issue for example your Hideo good question good question that's why i didn't put Kaji, uh, kojima <laughs> okay the thing is like okay uh if you are published if you are releasing in a very small quantity small like maybe less than 300 below then it's still considered okay if you are you're gonna release in 1000 pieces or five three thousand five thousand then kojima will come and look for you yeah but of course try not to not try not to do it mm. especially not don't 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 mess with disney or dc uh. yes <laughs> okay so thank you so i think uh that's all the questions that we have okay so I think, uh, for those of you who do not know uh you can check out uh, michael Chua's uh facebook and instagram and also youtube because Michael Troy himself also a YouTuber. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he does he does a lot of uh unboxing and unboxing, also yeah. Uh, yeah and, and also during this uh uh MCO right during this pandemic I I I think Michael also venture into other new adventures right like like I, like, I try well, podcast. Yeah, I podcast. podcast is damn painful. <laughs> 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 you have to talk like 40 minutes non-stop is so hard it's so hard so i i quit on that part i'm not very good in talking but i actually i i, I like trying new stuff lah, but i know that i'm not very good on that and i don't really have time to like sharpen the skill on that part so uh, i think i stick to youtube which i can edit okay. <laughs> okay so we have we have one last questions uh from okay. our so uh, throughout your journey on designer toy, what is the most memorable moment that you cherish for now and also the most hardest experience that you have gone through? 
cherish is definitely hang out with Malaysia toy designer. Definitely. Without them, I might not do it myself. It's thanks to them. So uh, you guys can actually check out uh, My Toy Hot, uh, which is a Malaysia-based uh, Facebook page. You can meet all the Malaysia, Malaysia toy designer there. You can exchange any information. You can get most updates from there. If you need any help from there, just uh, drop any message. I believe uh, the admin will, will actually advise you. And the hardest experience, uh, you don't make money. <laughs> I remember the very first uh, when I first launched the Union Kosama in Taiwan, and I I am I'm there for four days. The Union Kosama is there for four days without selling one piece. By when when I going to wrap up the wrap up everything I, because I brought fifty pieces there. I last at last minute I sold one one piece to one of the Malaysian that study in Taiwan. <laughs> so I, I, when I bring back the 49 pieces, I go through the KYA airport and the custom blocked me. He thought that I'm, I, I buy stuff from Taiwan and try to sell in Malaysia. So I have to, I have to convince the custom to say that this 49 piece Yurena Kosama is my work. I have to turn on my Instagram to prove that I, this is my work. I actually in Taiwan to sell it. So this is the remaining one that I didn't really sell it. So uh, I, I didn't give up from, I didn't give up on that part. So I continue uh, invest my time and invest uh, money to travel, to meet, uh, to, to, to different toy conventions, to talk to more people, and then you get more opportunity. Ne never, never, don't, don't, don't feel bad when your work don't sell. Uh, promote more eventually someone will like it yeah okay i think uh we have one more okay how do you approach seller or galleries to promote your toys pm them pm them be take face <laughs> that's one uh one of the things that i i learned from uh, malaysia graffiti artist kenji chai when you want something go for it ask there's, there's, there's not nothing to shame about. If you need, uh, if you want to go, if you want to exhibit in a gallery, you, you think you like the, you like the environment, and, and then you, you, you think you are prepared. Of course, of course, make sure you are prepared. You are prepared. Uh, get your portfolio. Uh, text them, or you can bring your portfolio direct. Go to their gallery and ask them to review your work, things like that. Or if you uh you couldn't find any gallery that's suitable you can rent a, a cafe you can rent a space to do your own show okay don't 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 there's always a way there's always a a, a method this like uh if you want to exhibit in maybe in us okay then you need to browse uh what's the, the what's the uh the the the, the, the the good gallery in US, maybe like uh, Martian Toys or in like Stormy Wow, you can you can go there and then you ask him. Uh, I have some work. Uh, uh, I, I'm gonna show you and see if I'm qualified to do a customized piece or something like that. Start from there. Of course, uh, uh, we all know that uh, our postage to overseas is very expensive. I really dump a lot of money on that just to post the item safely to reach us so i actually spend a lot of money on postage as well to make sure the item is in there of course uh when it's there i'll try my best to promote from my side okay and then uh sell it or not sell it is really it's really it's really your luck la. so uh you don't sell it just get it back la. so you just uh, maybe you just go for the next round again yeah but never 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 give up on the first first two year if you continue to it the third year you will see something trust me mm. all right thank you thank so, you like like what michael said that if you are into designing your own products like even toys or whatsoever so just just stick to it consistently yeah uh, yeah yeah you have to think of way to promote yourself even myself no one promote me i do my own youtube <laughs> yeah. I promote myself. Yeah. So that's one way. That's one way. Yeah. All right. So 
Thank you so much yeah. for joining us. Uh, thank you, Michael, for for doing thank you, this. Thank you so much. So uh, on the fifteenth, uh, we will we will have the the next webinar will be on the fifteenth, and on the fifteenth we will be featuring uh, Chen from Clockwork. So he will be here to us about his uh, graffiti works and and how how he managed to do uh, to live with just painting. Thank yes, you so yes. much. Uh, okay. Have a good evening. Stay safe and take good care. All right. Take care, everyone. Bye. Bye bye.